County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher has announced he's taking a leave of absence seeking treatment for alcohol abuse, trauma and post traumatic stress. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Fletcher's office says he will drop out as a candidate for state Senate. As CBS 8's David Godfordson reports, Fletcher issued a statement saying he will check himself into an inpatient treatment center this week at the insistence of his wife. This is the first official warning to the group that your outbursts are disrupting the conduct of the Board of Supervisors meeting. County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher knows all about the stress of being a politician. Hey, sir, this is sir, your second you're warning. Your conduct is disruptive to the meeting. Your time has expired. Please My allow the next My conduct is not disruptive. Your conduct has been disruptive. He took a lot of heat as the chair of the Board of Supervisors during the pandemic. Go pound sand, Nathan Fletcher. Nathan Fletcher, you need to know we're coming for you too. In January of last year, somebody set fire to his home in City Heights that he shares with his wife, former State Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez. Uh, everyone's safe, and, and the rest of it doesn't really matter. And, uh, and so, you know, we're grateful for that. Fletcher announced Sunday that he is entering inpatient treatment for alcohol abuse, citing post-traumatic stress from combat missions as a Marine in the Iraq War and from intense trauma as a young child, allegedly at the hands of his biological father. I ended up in the custody of a violent, horrible person. I news source reporter Joanne Ferrion asked him about the abuse in 2013 when Fletcher was running for mayor. Did he hit you as well? Yeah, he was, he was abusive uh, physically um, and, uh, you know, and mentally and, and verbally. And, uh, you know, it was something that I, I wouldn't, you know, want any, any child or any person to have, have to go through. In a statement, Fletcher said, I have no doubt I will not only make a full recovery, but will come back stronger, more connected and present. However, it is clear I need to focus on my health and my family and do not have the energy to simultaneously pursue a campaign for state Senate. Was our David Gopson reporting. Fletcher's current term on the Board of Supervisors goes through 2026. His colleagues on the Board of Supervisors issued statements acknowledging it takes strength and courage to publicly ask for help, and they wished him a fast recovery. Fletcher's office did not say where he will be getting treatment or how long the treatment will last. The statement says the staff in his office will continue to serve the needs of the 4th District, which he represents.